So I've spent the last six months talking to GPs because I wanted to do it right at the start, but COVID came in. And my real priority was there's been so much housing development across my constituency, from Arlesley and Stockfold in the south, mm. through Biggleswade up to Pot and Sandy, and even in the north of my constituency. And in fact, the minister today in her constituency, she had similar issues. Uh, but it's also because of coming out of COVID. And we've had so much in our mailbags, all MPs from uh, constituents said, I just can't get through on the phone. It's really, very really debilitating to be asked to do the same. Phone, 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 can't get through. Try again tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So talking to GPs, there were some clear issues that came out. The choice of phone system, something as simple as that could make a big difference about whether people feel comfortable with the service they, can, they get. The way in which a practice manager, that human contact, mm. often we had people who couldn't get through, they came to the practice, they couldn't be let in. The way that situation was handled was really rather important. But also we need to do more to get GPs in and to make people happy. Sometimes you may not see a GP, you might see a paramedic. We went through all these topics and more with the Minister today and I was really rather pleased by her response. Some people would say, your critics would say, that the shortage of GPs, mm. which uh, it was one of your points, has happened under your watch. Um, Jeremy Hunt, when he was health secretary, has been in the news lately for other reasons. Mm. He pledged to increase the number of GPs by, you know, a number of thousand, but the number of GPs has actually fallen. It has. And more worrying, you know, in my constituency, uh, actually the number of GPs has got about 2%. The date, the years I was looking at was 2014 to 2022, because that's the longest coherent data right. set that you can get from uh, the NHS. In that period, the number of GPs have gone up 2%, but the really? number of GP partners, which is mm. what maybe has gone down by about 20%. Right. It's actually been GP quite... partners, just put that in normal. So a GP first. partner, you can, there are three levels of, you can be a GP, broadly speaking, I think it's probably a fourth, but there can be uh, a locum. That GP comes in and decides the hours she or he wishes to work, and the practice can hire them for those hours. There's then a GP who is salaried, and he or she essentially works, and I'll say nine to five, I'm sure they work longer hours than that, but that is their duty, is to do those hours. And then a GP partner essentially is where they run the business of being a GP. So they might be responsible in addition for seeing patients, for making sure that the, the payroll is sorted out at the end of the month, for HR issues, for sorting out contracts for premises, etc. It's like running your own business, and that's the bit which I was saying to the minister today, those GP partners... They're not getting that additional remuneration. In fact, you're better off not doing those extra hours and extra work as a partner or even doing all hours of the week. You get paid more per hour if you pick and choose your hours as a locum. That's the wrong way around. And the government needs to look at the reward systems for GPs so that they can reinforce the model they want. If the government wants to say, we like partner GPs, which I think is great. I love entrepreneurs. I love people who have that ex want to go that extra yard. If they want to do that, they've got to look at the remuneration systems. The minister made the point, it's not all in her control, and she's right. There's some legacy issues, but it does need attention. So lots of people will be pleased that you are campaigning yes. on, on this. Um, for those struggling at the moment to get a GP yeah. appointment, or one that's face-to-face, -face, yes. how much longer will it be going for? When, when are you going to get your way? When's it going to be improved? Well, I think some of it is sort of improving because we've come out of that COVID period, which was a tremendous mm. pinch point. But lots of people had anxieties and we've discovered lots of things that where people hadn't come forward and they were at later stages of diagnosis. So even from my own post bag, I can see that it's getting a little bit better. But the numbers have got to move faster and it's not just GPs. And again, uh, the minister, uh, Maggie Throop today, she was very clear that it's the paramedics, it's the nurse practitioners, it is the other direct patient care. You can go and see other people when you're in primary care. So yes, we need to increase the number of GPs. The government's working on that, but you're right. They're not moving fast enough. But on that other area, good progress is being made. We've got to learn that sometimes the best answer when you make the call is not to see your GP. It might be to see another qualified medical professional.